Hi, I'm Lanneth, and I'm here to talk to you about a carry ruler. It's a new tool that I invented to make sewn mitered corners on both sides of your binding. First of all, you cut a strip of cloth that is 2 and 1 8 inches wide. Then you iron up 3 quarters of an inch wrong sides together. When you put the binding on the quilt, put the cut the binding one inch longer than the side of the quilt. Pin the rough edge to the edge of your quilt. Take the carry ruler and on the carry ruler there is a mark in the corner. You're going to place the ruler on the quilt and mark the dot in the corner. This dot will show you where you are going to start sewing your 3 8 inch seam and where you will stop sewing your 3 8 inch seam. You mark both sides of the quilt on the binding with a 3 8 inch dot. Now that you have your binding pinned on rough edge to rough edge and your dots marked at each end. You sew from dot to dot down the 3 8 inch line. Next you take your carried ruler and you place it on the binding edge to edge along the cloth edge seam line and seam line line up. And you take a marking pen and you mark the four dots. One, two, three, four. So you have four dots that are marked. These then you're going to take your carry ruler and you're going to connect the dots with your marking pen. I use a fuse on pen because it erases with heat. So then you have your four dots connected. It looks kind of like a Z. I pin it together. I'm only working on the um, binding material. You're not going to be working with the quilt. Once you have the four dots connected, you're going to take a needle and thread and you're going to sew this, or you can sew it on the machine. Usually I come back from where the one dot is that I marked to the front dot and I start there and I sew. You do not sew this line here. You start here and you're going to sew from that dot to that dot. Reinforce the edge. So with very small stitches, I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to stitch up to this dot and then I'm going to stitch down to here, reinforce the edge and come back a little ways. Okay, now that I have that sewn, I'm going to take a pair of scissors and I'm going to trim. I'm going to take my material, I'm going to cut down this line, not on the line, just a little bit above that line that I have drawn to about an eighth of an inch to the dot. Then I'm going to trim about an eighth of an inch up here and about an eighth of an inch down there. So it looks like that. When you open it up, these two edges will lay in your corner. And we're going to flip this. We're going to take this and we're going to get my little flipper. We're going to bring up the point. There it is. And then when you open it, you have a sewn mitered corner on this side of the quilt. That could be the front of the back, whichever way you like to have it sewn down. But when you flip it over, you have a sewn mitered corner on this side. You tuck your edge in and bring it over and it covers your seam line. And uh, some people will base that down. Some people use a decorative zigzag and zigzag along the edge. It'll catch that one. Whichever way you like to do that. Bring over your edges and you finish it. So you have a sewn mitered corner on one side and a sewn mitered corner on the other. The advantage of using carry ruler binding is that when you take get carry ruler binding, the sew line is already drawn on the binding. So you can sew down the binding at a straight 3 8 of an inch. Also, the binding is already folded up 3 quarters of an inch for you. So this is done and this is done. All you have to do is take it out of the package and you just lay it on the edge. 
get an inch longer than the length on the side and you're ready to go. You don't have to cut and you don't have to iron and you don't have to mark. Ready to go. Now that you've seen how the carry ruler works, you can obtain one of these carry rulers by going to candidquilts.com and uh, purchasing one. They are only four dollars. Also the carry ruler binding comes in myriads of colors and it only costs two dollars for three and a third yards. Two wonderful tools to help make your bindings look absolutely beautiful. Mitered corners on both sides. Care ruler, care ruler binding. Countedquilts.com.